Hey what's up guys, so LG G6 might be a great smartphone but in the software side it still lacks a lot of features and there are many things that takes away from the experience that you are supposed to have. So here is a list of 10 applications that will definitely enhance your experience while using this smartphone. So let's get on to it. The first app here on this list is SwiftKey Keyboard. SwiftKey is my go-to keyboard and among the first applications that I install when I get my phone. SwiftKey makes typing more fast and accurate. The main reason being its cloud save feature which stores my typing data and whenever I switch my phone all my predictions are already there. This with the prediction algorithm of SwiftKey makes it the best choice. It reads all the text that has already been typed and also uses all of the typing history to predict the next word. There are many more customizing options like adjusting, increasing its height, adding a number row and changing the way it looks via themes to make it perfect for your needs. Next up on this list is Cruet. So LG G6 has got a great camera with manual mode enabled allowing you to capture amazing shots. And after the shot is taken, screw it will help you to fix issues caused by not capturing it properly. So this app has many prospective and lens correction tools optimized to work well in smartphones. You can use it to straighten your images, make it slant, rotate it from a particular side. There is a slight learning curve to it but I highly recommend you to invest some time in doing so. There are some great tutorials put up by the creators of this app in YouTube. Along with this app, there are companion apps too, Mirror and Four Points, that will allow you to do even more cool stuff. So do check it out, it will definitely help you get the most out of your camera. The next app on this list is MI Explorer. So MI Explorer is among the few great file explorers that has not been spoiled with useless features and ads. ES Explorer used to be great but now it's cluttered with useless features and ads. MI Explorer on the other hand allows you to navigate files, even root files with easy copying, moving and selecting. And this app also allows you to have multiple tabs open. It makes file management a lot easier, works like managing file in a Windows computer. You can also browse files based upon a particular category. The UI and animation also helps to make this one the best option you have right now. And it's not there in Play Store but you can easily download it from the link below in the description box. You just need to download the APK file and install it. The next step here is Volume Timer. So Volume Timer will solve a problem that I think most of you have encountered. So whenever you switch your phone to silent mode, you forget to turn it off and miss important calls and notifications. But if you have this app installed, whenever you switch your phone to silent mode, it will ask you when to turn it off. You can just say the amount of hours you want your phone to be in silent mode and then this app will automatically turn it off. It's a very useful feature. One of the major flaw in LG G6 is its launcher. I don't like the way it looks and feels and most of you might feel the same. There are many alternatives out there but in terms of productivity and customization I think Action Launcher or Nova Launcher works the best. Action Launcher has got some neat features like covers for folders. So tapping the folder opens up the cover and swiping up reveals the folder. Sutter works great too, so swiping up from any app icon will launch its widget. And in the home screen, a left swipe from the edge brings out the app list. And along with these features, there are tons of options to customize it and add gestures. There are many more advanced features like auto theme which will automatically color the launcher based upon the wallpaper and many more features from Google Pixel. Nova Launcher on the other hand focuses more on customization and less on productivity. Using this launcher you can create any sort of theme that you can find in the internet. The next app is Loop. Loop is a habit tracker app and the idea here is to put your long term goals 
and update your progress in this app and then after some time you see when you have worked on them and when you have not which will help you plan better for your future and also keep you from procrastinating the stat here shows up neatly in a graph where you can see everything in a single glance so do try this app and proceed towards your goal more efficiently but do not forget to update your progress in this app the next app here on this list is portal so this one allows you to connect your phone and pc wirelessly and send files at the rate of 30 megabytes per second it uses your wi-fi so your pc and your phone must be connected to the same router the connection can be wired or wireless but it needs to be connected in the same router for this to work at this high speed then you can easily transfer files by visiting boostbullet.portal.com and in your computer screen there will be a QR code. So just launch this app on your phone and scan the QR code and you are all set and ready to go. And the UI here is very simple you just drag your files in your browser and it gets copied to your phone. The next app here is the score. The score is a sports app and should meet the requirement of most people. This app has almost everything you need. All the major leaks, the UI is clean and easy to navigate, live score updates with tons of information. The My Score option has a list of upcoming games and recent matches of your favorite team. And for every game here in this app, you will have all the information you need. There will be lineup, stats and live commentary. There's also news to keep you updated with what's happening on the things you might be interested on. And you can also set this app to remind you about your favorite team's game. The next app here is Backdrop. So Backdrop is my wallpaper app of choice. It's a great app to find wallpapers and every wallpaper you find here is high res and optimized for every type of screen. And if you opt to upgrade to Pro, you'll get access to some sick wallpapers. Theme creators often search wallpapers here in this section. And I think it's worth every penny by looking at the wallpapers. You can see here, you are almost guaranteed to find a wallpaper you like. Even if you don't opt to pay, the wallpaper section is good, split it into various categories. And if you use Musee Live wallpaper, you can link it to change the wallpaper based upon your preference automatically every day. So that's all about this video guys. Hope you guys have found some application for yourself and do check out my other LDG6 videos. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.